My name is Tom Ray, I'm the Deputy Head at Cannon Park Primary School in Coventry. Technology in the classroom we find really engages the children. Um, we're fortunate enough to have two sets of Chromebooks and a set of iPads which we use regularly throughout our school week. Um, we find it really engages the children um, and it's, it's something they're used to in their everyday life. One thing I like to do is research different ways to engage children in their learning and it, it might be something um, technology based, it might be something non-technology based um, and I came across Learning by Questions on a um, social media platform, other schools were using it across the country and the question was on this social media platform, what can you do to engage children in their learning um, out of the ordinary and there was reply after reply came back with Learning by Questions so I thought well I'd never heard of it but I've got to look into it and, and it started there really. So our first experience with Learning by Questions was a demo, which uh, myself and some colleagues were involved in, and straight away the idea of its sort of simplistic nature. Um, question sets are there, linked into the curriculum, the children are given the question sets and they get progressively more challenging as the children go along. We knew this would be right for the children because it, it moves them on in their learning at their own pace. Uh, and the other positive element of it was the feedback which was built in. So if a child makes a mistake on a question, then the feedback is there, ready for them to go. They can read through it, they can have another go. Before learning by questions, teachers would spend more time creating resources, maybe paper-based. Um, and then since we've started learning by questions, we found that teachers very quickly can set a task, get the Chromebooks out or the iPads, children have a go, and it's right there, ready, linked into their learning. Teachers have many pressures, modern day teachers, in, in terms of marking and feedback, in terms of planning lessons and the wider responsibilities of being a school teacher. Learning by questions saves time um, and that's one of the, the best things about it because it saves time but still provides an excellent focus for the children. Um, it's going to help teachers focus on, on the right things, give them more time to focus on those right things. When learning by questions is being used, engagement is a, is a real positive. We always look for children to be engaged in their learning and it, it really does keep them engaged. Um, in terms of uh, maths and English, which is how we primarily use it, we've seen that it links very well into our curriculum. So say they've done a, a unit on fractions, we can use learning by questions to, to check that understanding, go over any misconceptions. Or equally, we can use it at the start of a new unit so if the children are starting some work on geometry, we can pick the Learning by Questions geometry question set and they can have a go, see where they're at. Currently we use Learning by Questions in Key Stage 2 for primarily maths and English. Um, I would like to look into it further in terms of the science aspects to it and a wider curriculum and see how it can be used to develop that further. So here at our school in Coventry, we've got a large number of children who speak English as an additional language. Those children we find need that extra bit of support to develop those basics and learning by questions is another, another sort of tool in our, in our, in our armoury to, to develop that. Gives them that chance to practice the basics, to master the basics, it's very visual and it's got lovely images on there to engage the children. If we no longer had learning by questions, teachers would have a lot less time in their day, children would not be as engaged in their learning. Um, and it wouldn't give children, not every child wants to sit behind a desk with a pen and paper in their hand. Children are in a world where they're surrounded by their technology and learning by questions is a great way to still get those maths and English standards to where we want them to be, but in a, an engaging and, and child-friendly way. Learning by questions for me is one of the, the best technology uses I've seen in terms of supporting children in maths and English. I've used a lot of other ones in the past and they may not always be focused on the, the outcomes and the focus on the learning, the focus may be around other things, which are very nice, collecting things, characters, but we want the children to focus on their, their core skills, but it still engages them despite not having all those bells and whistles. Mental well-being is such a big focus in every school, um, and learning by questions, it helps the teachers firstly, in terms of giving them that extra bit of time um, it's a resource which is there ready to go, linked into the curriculum, saves a lot of time. But also for the children, learning by questions and the way it works, the children work at their own pace. Children can receive that, that feedback and support when they're ready at their own pace. And it also enables the teacher to, to stop everybody if they need to and interject um, and then let children carry on with an extra bit of feedback from the, the expert teacher in the room. To other schools in Coventry, I would say that in terms of spending your budget, there's a lot of priorities, but I'd make learning by questions, put it to the top of that list. For learning by questions, we have opted to go for a three-year package. With any new thing you introduce online or, 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 or not, 
it needs to become embedded and it needs to be continued. So we feel going through the three year package means that we can get it right now, but continue it and know that it's something which will be at our school for the long term. Spending some of our, our budget, a very tight budget on learning by questions, um, we feel it was, was an excellent choice. Because of the way it works in terms of children working at their own pace, it means that the adult in the room, the expert teacher has been freed up to support children as and when they need to. The most important thing for children is the amount of time they get with that adult to give that feedback to move the learning on. Learning by questions in terms of value for money is great value for money because it provides the, the teacher that extra bit of time to work with the children whilst also giving the children a really focused at, the, at their level learning.